here's what I laid out in the bar that I can pack away. One of my favorite sandwiches in the city. So good. It's a club sandwich on a Kaiser roll. You can put my outfit on the You guys in this playlist, it's called Michelle Branch. So sorry for the annoying TV thing. But Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Today I'm doing a pack with me because I'm getting ready to go back to California. I'm gonna show you guys what I pack up for a month, potentially two month long trip, and how I fit it all into a carry-on luggage. The first thing I like to do is make a list of all the different outfits I potentially might be wearing, as well as home accessories that I may need. Whether it's for beauty, whether it's for home, just things that I know I'm gonna need to be taking because I don't have them at my destination. So your hair curler, my electric whisk, um, a white noise machine, your camera, your tripod, things like that. Here's what I laid out so far that I can pack away. And honestly, this is all stemming from my outfit list. So I've got this Zara suede fringe jacket. I've got a flannel, um, a dress, a button down, a sheer button down, a skirt, a ribbed t-shirt, a ribbed long sleeve, and this is just a plain long sleeve, a leather halter top, and a white ribbed halter top. I've got my bathing suits in here, one crew neck sweater, a pair of pants. These are a camel color pair that are a little bit thinner. Check those out in my Zara haul. I've got a pair of ripped frayed edge black pants, jean shorts, and then my Zara full length jeans. I also added in one bra, and two travel size products. The Kristen S Working Texture Spray, one of my favorite texture sprays, can also double as a hairspray. And then the Loose Styling Powder, which you can also kind of use as a dry shampoo. I also have three pairs of shoes I'm gonna be packing. The Birkenstocks, my Converse, and my Nikes. In terms of other things I'm gonna be wearing, I'm gonna bring this mini tripod for Vlogmas. This is where I keep all my jewelry. I've been liking having more dainty jewelry, so it'll all fit very compactly in here. I've also got my bracelets, which I'll probably put on before the plane. This is my skincare, and thankfully it's gotten a lot more compact over the years. I'm hoping I can also pack it in here because what actually goes in the personal bag is like my computers and things like that. My suitcase is in a way even bigger carry-on luggage bag, so it's the biggest size you can go in a carry-on. It usually can fit everything I need without me having to go absolutely crazy on how to place things. What I love about my Away is that I can zip up this side and really have it lay pretty flat. And those are a majority of the clothes I'm gonna be bringing. I may squeeze another tank top or two in there, but that's really it. So in terms of food and snacks, I'm gonna be bringing both of these on the flight. First, the sesame kelp noodles, and then the wellness grilled chicken. Both of these you don't need to heat up. They taste perfectly good cold, and I'll pop those in my backpack or my bag so they're easy for me to reach. Okay, you guys, I got some ramen inspired by Sierra Miller because she was eating ramen the other day and I was like, oh, I need some. So my favorite ramen is spicy miso. It's my favorite, favorite. I know that the tonkatsu is the classic, but I love it. And then I got some pork buns, or excuse me, soft shell crab, because why not? My last full meal in New York. So this is a new spot, I'm trying it out. My favorite ramen in New York City is Apudo NYC. One of my favorite sandwiches in the city, so good, is a club sandwich on a Kaiser roll. And ugh, add it, American cheese, so, so good. This is perfect for my post four hour COVID test wait. <music> to put you guys on this playlist it's called michelle branch though sorry for the annoying tv thing but like can we just talk about some of these songs 
Michelle Brand Classics, Vanessa Carlton Classics, Kelly Clarkson, Natasha Bedingfield, Sixpence on the Richer, Ashley Simpson, Mandy Moore, Queen, Hilary Duff, oh my gosh. You guys, this is just a great playlist and I'm gonna continue packing, but I had to share. I'm gonna leave the link below and we're gonna go with Why Can't I, Liz Fair. I literally used to play this song and think about my middle school boyfriend slash crush and I'm like, girl, you had no idea. I created a little bit more space, but I still have to pack my vitamins, my skincare, this stuff. I'm trying to bring my booty bands if possible. Here's my outfit tomorrow for the plane. Trying to pack that set active bottom. I don't know how. And I'm also trying to pack my curler. Okay, I mocked it up and I should have enough space to fit the curler, my makeup, my skincare, deodorant, setting spray, vitamins, and my pajama bottoms. I don't know what to do about the booty bands though. Thankfully, they're not super heavy. So I could just suck it up and put them in my carry-on, but maybe I'll switch those out. That fits so much better, honestly. Here is my outfit of tonight, Chanel bag. I'm wearing a cropped sweater from Misguided, this long leather coat, and these are the black dress pants in my Zara haul, which I will leave above for you guys to watch. They are amazing, perfect length for me, and then some Adidas Continentals. I just got home and we tried to go to the Christmas bar and it was closed, which was, oh, so sad. I'm reading myself so much. This is how you know I had a few martinis is that I keep repeating myself. All I have to do in the morning is wake up, drink some water, and get in my Uber. So, ah, say your prayer guys, and I will see you in California.